Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Do you ever feel like there's too many tennis rackets out there to keep track of? I do too, and it's always fun with new stuff, but you know, sometimes your head is all over the place, especially when you're testing a lot of gear. Uh, I've been testing the new Prince Tours, which I talked about in another video. I will, I'm also testing these, kind of out of a coincidence. Thanks to Brandon who came to the island for a crypto conference. He's also a tennis nerd, he's one of my patrons and he wanted to play so we did I had a lot of fun as usual i brought like six frames he brought a few frames and we talked about rackets and hit and played some points and so on it was a great time as usual on the tennis court so thanks to brandon and he actually brought these from singapore because i can't find them here in europe and this is the tour 97 the twist power this twisted throat which i have seen in another video i tried the x100 and the thing with the X100 was that it was like a 290 gram weight, which is a little bit low for me personally, but I still like that frame a whole lot. As I said in my review, it felt pretty comfortable, had a nice crisp feel. What is crisp? Yes, it's stiff, but not harsh. That's kind of how I would describe crisp. When you feel there's a kind of, you get some energy return from the strings, doesn't stay too long in the string bed and has almost like a nice sound to it as well. So that's how I would describe crisp. And I did like the twist power. I thought it would be a gimmick with this thing, but I find that there's something to it, whether it's this one does anything, I don't know. I can't explain the whole science behind it, uh, but it looks pretty cool. So we'll take it for what it is. What I'm interested in is how the racket plays. And I think that's with, what you guys think about as well, right? So the 97 and the 100 tour are the ones we're gonna talk about. So the 97 tour and the 100 tour, uh, two rackets that are very similar in feel. The 100 tour is, 300 grams which is kind of a standard tweener spec kind of for intermediate uh, up to advanced players but definitely can go a bit lower in level this one is a little bit heavier uh, 310 grams unstrung a bit thinner beam and uh, a little bit smaller head size at 97 square inches so we start with this one which i was very curious about when i liked the first x100 but it cannot be bought in europe as i said so that's been the issue very very interesting frame more powerful than i thought for a 97 this packs a lot of pop Kind of like when you play with the Pure Aero VS the first time, you're like, how can it be so powerful with this kind of head size? But yeah, some frames are just powerful. Could be that the swing weight is higher or that its stiffness is higher or something else, or like there's a lot of string movement. In this case, uh, it's a powerful racket. It has a pretty high launch angle. The ball wants to jump off a bit from the string bed. So if you hit flat, you might get a bit more lift of the net. The issue with that is that the control might be a little bit lacking at times. Feel very, very good, feels Nice on drop shots, touch volleys, has enough stability at the net, so no issues there. Really felt connected. I also felt super whippy on serves. I could really snap the ball through on the serve. And the swing weight of this one was 320 with Hyper G Soft 125. And I played it at 53 pounds, actually quite high for me. But he was flying here and stringing it before, so since it always loses tension on a plane i thought it would be good to go a bit higher very happy with this one this was actually my favorite of the two i felt like i got good control pretty fast i like a whippy frame this felt fast yet some stability brandon said he probably like a little bit of weight at the sides to have more stability on fast approaching shots i felt maybe yes you could add some but definitely not a must felt pretty stable it is partly foam filled so uh, you do have a bit more of, more of a solid feel to it. No issues with comfort whatsoever. Did not feel any problems with the comfort. I, mean, I think this is a very good racket that is heavily overlooked because it's only available in the US, Asia, of course. Uh, he says that in Singapore, they sell a lot of these, which I can understand, but uh, when you're in Europe, it's tough to get them. So good that I got my hands on one. I felt really connected to it in most shots, drop shots, whatever. I felt like I, I knew where the ball was going. Uh, the launch angle irked me at times. But overall, I uh, was very happy with this frame and I actually preferred it from the, from the X100 Tour, although that is also good. Whether it's a gimmick or not, they, they perform really well. It just feels like a, a good competitor to a pure strike or a pro staff, something that lands in between, gives you good power, some whippiness, I would say in the, in the area of a Iga tempo 298 this one feels up there but it's a little bit heavier although the swing weights are very similar definitely worth giving a go if you're up for the weight of 310 grams on strong as i said the swing weight is manageable no issues there so can definitely recommend checking this one out this one gives you more control than the 100 and got quite a nice feeling on slice and, and very good on serves i think serves was my favorite shot to hit with this one but the more i play with it the more i like it and i also like that it's kind of matte down here and glossy up here i'm a big sucker for glossy paint so it's a side note so the 97 tour 
my favorite twist power racket as of now. Nothing wrong with this one though. This one reminds me very much of the X100. The thing with the Tour version is that it they bumped up the weight 10 grams to a standard 300 grams. It is foam filled, which I don't think the 290 gram version is. And so it feels a little bit more comfortable, this racket. So with better comfort, the foam feeling is a double-edged sword. Like everything, everything you add or subtract from a racket is gonna give uh, pros and cons to it, you know? That's like everything in life. And this one, the foam does make it feel a bit slower. So that's the thing for you to think about. I've heard it from other people. Depending on your level and what you like, the foam feeling, whatever racket it is, could be an Angel or Ego or other brands that foam fill, creates a little bit of a slower feel, but the comfort is there. So, you know, you get comfort, you lose some maneuverability, that is pretty common. Swing weight wasn't unmanageable at all at 318 with Lynx Tour, which is a pretty heavy string, 125 gauge. Strung it at 50 pounds, felt I got good control still. It wasn't quite as stable and as, as whippy as the 97, which is why I prefer that one. It's kind of more in the line with the, the frames I tend to gravitate towards, although I have some anomalies like my soft drive or whatever, uh, where I sometimes like just love the feel so much with the power it provides. But generally I always come back to 97, 98 overall. Twist power 97 was a bit faster and I didn't feel like this one was a much easier to use to so give a much bigger sweet spot overall. A very nice 100 and definitely should be in the discussion when you're looking at an E-Zone 100, pure drive or even an arrow, you know, something where you want power, but maybe you don't want all that power, like the extreme power or this one feels a little bit more controlled and this, the flex is quite nice. The 66 RA Strung, which is listed by Tennis Warehouse, it feels much softer than that. I don't think that's very accurate when you have foam filling. And as I've said before about RA values and, and stiffnesses, it's, it's kind of an average of all different stiffness locations. So, you know, it might be more flexible here, stiffer up here. So it's very tough to just give an average rating and that will tell you everything. It might feel very harsh for some or comfortable for some. For example, the Onyx DR98, a lot of players love it has a pretty low flex rating, but most people I know get elbow problems with it. So one of those things, you know, might flex differently or be more weight here or, uh, so these things are important. You actually need to try the frame to know how it performs for you. You can't just buy by reading or listening to me. It can guide you towards what you should demo. That's really how I see my content. It should guide you towards what you should demo and consider for your level playing style whatnot. Solid frame, it didn't wow me in any way. Uh, maybe the, the whippiness of the lighter model appealed to me a bit more. I felt that this one was, was good, but not quite as good as the, the X97. Uh, the 97 is, is my winner, and I think it's still relatively easy to use for a lot of higher level intermediates to advanced players. So check out the twist powers, they should not be overlooked. And there are many frames out there. I just talked about the, the Tours 98 and the 100. How do they compare? I would say the twist power will give you more power overall. The word Tour is used everywhere for every racket it seems like. So it's very complicated to know what a Tour is. Generally it means that it's the heavier version of something else. But um, I would say that the twist powers will give you more power. And this one felt whippier than the 98. The, the lower swing weight will appeal to a lot of players, I think. I would prefer the 97 over the Tour 98 as it stands today because I like the whippiness and the possibility to customize it a bit more than where the Tour 98 was just ready to be played as is. That is all for this review. I hope this gave you some information. A big thanks to Fuzzy Yellow Balls and the Singles Playbook for sponsoring this episode of the Tennis Nerd YouTube channel. Great book that I actually bought myself. I didn't get this one. You get ideas on how to construct different type of plays and strategies against different levels and different types of players, serving volleyers, baseliners, approaching, all these kinds of uh, strategies and tactics and plays that you can use to win more matches, win more points and improve your tennis. You have videos with each and every play here. So you get the full instruction from Will who created this. Uh, very smart guy about tennis. Check it out, the link is in the description. Big thanks for sponsoring. It's a product I actually like and believe in. Such as Player Court, where you can find a hitting partner or a coach in the US uh, through their platform, 50% off using my link. It's in the description. Have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis.